Are you fucking serious? <laughs> oh, this has to be a joke. <laughs> oh, this cannot be a joke. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> what is up? <laughs> uh, yo, what is up, guys? So for today, I'm bringing you Destiny 2. Obviously, now if you guys haven't read the th the, the title of the video, you guys are probably wondering why I'm laughing hysterically. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be laughing throughout this whole video <laughs> because here I was just la leisurely laying down on my bed. <clears throat> Playing this guy of five, because, you know, that's what one does when they have no power in Florida. And I checked my my phone, because I'm subscribed to a lot of Destiny YouTubers that I actually really like. And one of them shows me that Bastion's out. And I'm like, that's that's weird, because that's supposed to come out in the next, up, in the next uh, reset, not this reset. So I look into it. And lo and fucking behold, that the quest reward for that insane fucking puzzle is you get the qu you get the gun early, and it's like wow, wow, bro. I was to to say that I was shocked is like an understatement, but this puzzle was probably one of the fucking wildest puzzles I've ever seen in Destiny history. Like, not even kidding, guys. Like, it was fucking wild. And for them to just straight up just be like, yeah, uh, you get the gun early. Uh, there you go. Uh, like, yeah, there you, like. <sighs> so let's start from the beginning. I... When I first saw that this uh, this whole puzzle thing was being a thing, I immediately kind of like, oh, fuck this, I'm not doing this shit because I've been burned from Bungie before. So I immediately was like, I'm not gonna do any of this shit, I'm not gonna participate because I know for damn sure that it's just gonna be a puzzle to get to something that we either have or it's lackluster. So. I immediately just disconnected. I was like, I'm not going to play Destiny for a while. I'm going to wait until they complete it so that way I can laugh, which is what I did in the beginning. Not laughing at the people who did the... the not laughing at the people who actually did the quest because, you know, kudos to you guys. You guys did an amazing job. It was really cool to see the community come together. The little community that we have left. But it was cool because it was kind of like the olden days where we would get, we would get excited for shit. But... What really kind of sucks is the fact that all this questing, all this like hard work, like I feel like what was it? Glad didn't even sleep for a few days. People had to tell him like, like literally tell him to like go to sleep. Even fucking Bungie said go to sleep. Like all this amazing work that the community did just to get Bastion a week early. And like it's it's funny too because it's not like. Oh, you get this like exclusive skin or you get this exclusive whatever. It's just like, nah, you just get Bastion early, but like you have to do a 30 code, like a 30 code thing to get to get the Bastion quest. Or what I'm probably going to do is just wait until next Tuesday so, you, I, so I can just do the quest. That's it. Like, that's really, that's really it, man. And like, let me tell you right now, Corridors of Time, I thought had a lot of potential to show us different futures, different timelines. It would have been amazing if we saw like different timelines where Gaul actually not only survived, but won. It would have been amazing to see different timelines like the Exo Stranger coming back and telling it, like showing us the future she was in or like, it would have just been cool to see more of the Corridors of Time. And see different futures that could have been. But unfortunately, we just got our grave, which was cool. I mean, I'm not going to lie that. It, oh, that's not cool. It was fucking cool. And I, I, I went in there and I was like, man, this is my grave. That's fucking wild. And then uh, 
I hear that, oh yeah, it's our grave because we took Bastion to battle. And I'm like, that's that's your that's our fault for taking that gun to battle because from what I've been hearing, it's not a good gun in PvE. It's only a good gun in PvP. So it, like at that point is also hilarious because all this crazy PvE shit just for a weapon that's better in PvP than in PvE, it's like I I just don't understand how people can defend this. Like, I really don't. Like, I'm not trying to throw shade at you. I'm not trying to say you're dumb or anything like that. I'm just like, I really want to know why and how can you defend this? Like, this is an event that took almost all week, if not all week. And it was just for a weapon that we're going to get next week. You're just getting it early. So that immediately makes that like that week just kind of shit because it's just nothing new because bastion's already coming out so please let me know your thought process if you're if you're defending this why are you defending this i'm not trying to throw shade i'm not trying to be negative i just really want to know i'm like genuinely like concerned not concerned i'm genuinely curious as to why you would defend this because me personally this is just disappointing all this puzzle all this time like i promise you if if we had found out that all that corridor of time puzzle was just to get Bastion early, a majority, if not almost everyone would have stopped except like Glad and like literally every other streamer. Cause like that would be content that would be beneficial to them. So I like me personally, this is an L homie. This is such an L. I, it made me laugh so hard. Like <clears throat> I'm not even kidding, man. Cause I was expecting a sword, even though I don't like swords. I was expecting that sword that we have there. I was expecting literally anything other than Bastion. Bastion was the last thing on my fucking mind. You know, I would have been okay if they had given us the Bastion ornament from Eververse for free. I would have been like, that's cool. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, I can fucks with this. But no, they gave us Bastion. Where it's like, you want to get it early, you have to put this 30 code in. Or you can just wait until next week because literally that you that's an option as well. And I'm probably going to wait for next week, but I also kind of want to do a review for it. So we'll see. But it's just, it's really disappointing when I see people defend this type of stuff. And I'm just like, but like, if... It, if more voices came out with disagreements with Bungie and how they're handling their shit, the game would get better. Like, this is just proven. Like, it's always been like this. Every time there's a lot of pushback from the community, Bungie just kind of, oh, okay, well, we'll do something really good now. It's always happened. So, I'm not saying that the people who defend this game are destroying the game, but I'm just saying that People gen, gen, generally, when people defend the game that's doing shady shit like that, and now I'm not saying the quarters of time was shady. I think it was just lazy. But when when people are defending that type of attitude, it just kind of makes the game decline as a whole. It makes it makes devs pick up bad habits, and that's what I don't like. I don't like when devs pick up bad habits because then it shows in their game. So if you guys think I'm a hater and all this, I mean like. Granted, I am a hater, but it's mostly because I don't want them to pick bad habits. I don't want them to say, oh shit, Eververse sells more than anything in the fucking game. We should just gut the game and then just give them Eververse stuff, like essentially. Like, all this reward shit that people could have gotten from other sources, let's just cut it and just put it in Eververse. Like, I don't like that mentality. I really don't. This game is not a free-to-play free game, so with that idea, it just kind of mercs the whole game itself like if it was a free game if it was a free to play game i would understand but it's not so therefore it's fucked up in my opinion so how what do i think about this whole quarters of time i'm gonna tell you right now from its very beginning i did not like it because i knew it was gonna be disappointing that's why i never even tried to like get into it i actually stopped playing destiny for that time because what was the point there was nothing to do and quarters of time i got in to see my grave and then i dipped i was like i'm not gonna participate in this because this just this what's the point point? and it's funny because a lot of veteran players 
most, if not all of them, hold that same idea. Like, I'm not going to do it because there's no point. And what the fuck? There was no point because if they didn't figure it now, it would have came out later. And even Bungie said, yeah, if they didn't figure it out, the quest wouldn't have came out. So it's like, wow, wow. Okay. So if you're defending this, I mean, like, I guess, like, whatever. I, I, I truly want to understand why, though, like why are you defending this i can i can see people say oh well we're getting it a week early it's like yeah but we're not getting anything that week though like there's nothing to do there like there's i don't know so yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys thought i was a little salty in the beginning i was not i was genuinely laughing like i i started trying to fake it and then it just came out because i was just literally fucking bastion <laughs> as the quest reward for like a week long fucking bro i'm so fucking done like this fucking game <laughs> so yeah let me know what you guys think about quarters of time and the loot in the end was it satisfying was it not let me know in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my other social media outlets links are in the description below and i will see you guys later